quitting drinking made all of my problems disappear. Wouldn't that be nice? No, really, if I had to boil it down to the two best things about not drinking, one is I feel so much better. I, I mean, my energy, I don't have hangovers, I don't feel bad physically. And then the other one is I just have so much more clarity. And I remember waking up so many times with pounding headaches and nauseous feelings. You know that like where one eye literally doesn't feel like it's focusing right and you're like, okay, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't have that feeling anymore. You know, something interesting is I had no idea I was feeling so bad or that things were as confusing as they were. Mornings on Clarity are so beautiful. I love getting up and watching the sunrise and looking at the colors, the water. I start my day with writing, some decaf, and some yoga, and it's perfect. I find that it's really easy in the morning to focus on gratitude for my husband, for this life, for my family's health, for all the opportunities that I have, and to really be positive about the future. So the mornings are the best time for that. I still can't believe I get to wake up feeling this good. It really just sets me up for the right kind of day in the right frame of mind. Another thing that I really appreciate about not drinking is all of the money that we've saved over the last 12 years. I figured when we quit drinking, we were spending 6,000 a year in alcohol. We liked good stuff. We liked nice wine, we liked, you know, Hanger One vodka. So 6,000 times 12 with the cost of inflation, I think 100 grand is, is pretty accurate. Another interesting thing is I quadrupled my income once I quit drinking. <laughs> oh my God. I wonder if I made more money because I'm, I was no longer standing on the tables at happy hour making monkey noises. So speaking of confidence, you've heard the saying that alcohol gives you liquid courage. Well, I think the opposite's true. I think that being sober actually makes me more confident. And especially year after year, I, I see my confidence growing. The fact that I can even do this video is one example. But you know, I still have negative thinking. And what I've, I've learned is that I can trust myself more and I can really question what my thoughts are. And you know, if I'm thinking about the future further down the line and what's gonna happen and feeling insecure, usually I can just say, hey, listen, do you know what's gonna happen? And the answer is no. And, but what I do know is that I'm gonna be sober and that feeling of confidence of being able to handle whatever happens and to adapt and adjust and have a positive attitude and be clear it's like i don't really need to know what's going to happen i'm good with the adventure of it life is confusing and it seems to be getting worse so for me not drinking really helps me be honest it helps me take responsibility for what i can do and realize that i can't control the rest of the world it also helps me figure out what are my values? What's important to me? How can I take action to live more in, in tune with those values? When it comes to not drinking, it's really just two things, more energy and more clarity. And energy plus clarity equals empowerment. And that's what I wanna talk about next time. So thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for all the positive comments and feedback on my last episode. See you next time. Is that it? Yeah. Sorry, sugar, but your snoring was distracting people. <laughs> <laughs>